the Dinobots. Wheeljack's perfect idiots. Created using Cybertronian technology on Earth, they are about as intelligent as the bones that were scanned to determine their alternate modes. Oh look, it's a Tyrannosaurus. It looks like he's about to speak. Me Grimlock is king. Here we see the Triceratops. In reality, the prey for the Tyrannosaurus. However, as a Dinobot, he serves the Autobot cause. What is that flying in? It is a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a pterodon. His pee is silent, so watch out below. Suddenly, we see two new creatures appear. It is a Brontosaurus and a Stegosaurus. The first three Dinobots were so gullible that two more needed to be made simply to explain to them that the word gullible could not be found in the dictionary. Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashtag here, and today we have all five of the Transformers Studio Series, the movie 86 Leader Dinobots. And as you see, they're just lined up here in dinosaur mode. And uh, in order of release, uh, it was Grimlock, uh, Slug, or Slag, depending on where you come from. Uh, I believe then it was Sludge, then Snarl, then Swoop. But the three in the middle are the original three from the series. They were produced first by Wheeljack. Uh, so each of them came with different accessories, which I'll go over as I slowly remove them from the pile here. So let's uh, take a quick look at, uh, we'll start from left to right here. Of course, there's a Snarl, and uh, he got, he got his weird vivisection thing is, is, uh, the way his feet are, but uh, his opening mouth, and uh, he has spines on him. So they're very soft, rubbery. Uh, Here's his tail. I wish his tail was a little bit better, but I mean, what are you going to do? And uh, so very nice. Uh, it's nice. Uh, so next we have a slug. He also has an opening mouth. He actually has a blast effect port in there. And they tried to match the gold up, but uh, it looks like uh, Snarl, for whatever reason, isn't matching. Maybe it's because the paint they couldn't paint on the plastic or something but uh yeah pretty good and then of course uh grimlock and uh grimlock has a little bitty hands it's not as bad as real tyrannosauruses but uh definitely could be better and of course uh, if you open up his mouth he does have a blast port so very nice there uh swoop uh, a shout out to uh, Diecast Norbs. He helped me figure out how to do the chest thing. Uh, if you go ahead and squeeze the sides together here, once you get the chest pulled forward and lined up, it will snap into place. But uh, here is Swoop. Now, technically, in um, teardown mode, these are supposed to be attached to his wings, but for posing purposes, really a pain in the butt. Uh, he also has a blast port in his mouth. But... Uh, Let's go to wingspan. So that's what he looks like. And we're going to pull everything back a little bit. And then, of course, Sludge. It's a Brontosaurus. Uh, he also has a blast port in his mouth. And uh, he's, a, he's a bulky guy. Probably the heaviest of the, the four. So... Just a big old hollow empty compartment underneath, but I mean, it's not like you're going to see it, right? So, let's uh, do this here. We're going to go through what the items came with. Um, so, first, we have uh, Snarl. He came with this sword, a uh, very chubby sword. Uh, it's a very rubbery sword, so very nice. Sludge came with this, uh, I'm going to say, cannon. Yeah, it's thick. And then we got a Swoop, who has uh, these two rocket launchers that go on his wings. And, of course, they're detachable. And then, of course, he has a sword. So, that's what he has. Slug, uh, he had um, a Daniel and uh, also a cannon. Or more of a phaser rifle, maybe? It looks kind of Star Trek-y to me. And then finally, we have Grimlock. Uh, he has a sword. Now, keep in mind, this sword came with swoop. Uh, a rifle, and a double barrel. And then he came with a wheelie. 
and Wheelie and Daniel were right on the shoulders of the particular box they came with. And here we are. They're all converted. And as you see, uh, I have equipped them with their weapons. And just a note, if you want to see the actual conversions from start to finish, go check out their individual reviews. They're on the channel somewhere. So, they, as I mentioned, they did come with little buddies. Uh, so they came with uh, Wheelie and uh, Daniel. And I'll show you real quickly. Wheelie does, doesn't convert, neither does Daniel. Uh, he basically... Uh, has a slingshot. It's to replicate that scene where Wheelie is shooting, uh, you know, little berries or whatever at, at uh, various creatures, including Grimlock. And then, of course, uh, here's Daniel in uh, Spike's old exosuit. And it's a lot of white, so of course it's bouncing off pretty bad in the camera, but uh, that's them. So let's start in the order as I pull them down here. So here's Grimlock. And, uh,. He is spectacular. He has the uh, the tinted uh, white, I don't know, windshield on the front here. Um, but uh, he's just a big boy. I, I'm not quite sure how to get him in front of the camera here without, uh, without blurring everything else out. Um, And, of course, I armed him with his pistol. And, of course, here is his sword. And, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, out of all of them, he's probably the one... I mean, he is also the oldest, but he seems to be the one that's most uh, still uh, decent. Like, he isn't uh, weak in joints or anywhere. Uh, I'm going to say the worst one is probably Sludge. Um, he just, uh, he's just loose. I don't know. I mean, he, what is this? Uh, first, second... Uh, third, fourth, fifth. So take what you want from that. But uh, yeah, Grimlock is spectacular. And uh, yeah, that's the end of him there. So of course we're gonna move on to. Uh, oops, there we go. Uh, slug there. Um, his he has this collapsing chest thing that's kind of weird to get it out and then configure. It's kind of similar to Swoop, except you have these extra frills here. You gotta calculate. I've been told some people have accidentally snapped these off, been trying to separate it. Um, not uh, not something I would particularly want to do, but uh, his face kind of reminds me of some of the aerial bots, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Otherwise, uh, I mean, he has to fold up his legs somewhere, so he got a you know, not really gap per se, they're filled, you know. Just a little chunky here. My problem is um, now, I guess, is the, the clip on the back here for his uh, his I guess wings at this point. Just don't want to stay in. But I mean, otherwise decent enough, and uh, he looks pretty good. Um, I, I don't I don't think I have any complaints about him really either, uh, other than the chest being a, a pain to line up. But yeah, I think uh, pretty good. So then we get to swoop and. Uh, Swoop, of course, is the newest one. I'm trying to get his head to focus there. Decent. And of course, I got his sword on the back here. And uh, my biggest complaint, which I also mentioned in the review, is that there's, like, no locking mechanism for the feet. So, I mean, because you feel like there's something here, but it just bypasses it. It really should have been some type of joint or... Um, not joint specifically... Um, a gear or something. I don't know. Something to stop it that's better than whatever this is here. Because, uh, you know, it's a little clip here, but it's just, it just passes it. Um, but yeah, he's decent enough looking. Uh, his chest, as I said, just like a slug, separates out. Uh, in this case, you put his head in here. And uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Um, Weight-wise, he's probably the lightest, easily. I mean, you can see these guys. He is also the smallest. And, of course, we move on to Snarl. Um, Snarl is decent. He's actually fairly tight, which is uh, both good and bad. Um, trying to get him into this mode was a pain in the butt. And, of course, uh, here he is. Of course, the sword is on the back as well. Um, he has some nice ratchets. You know what? That's what I think Swoop needs, ratchets in the feet. That, that would be a big help. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. And then, finally, uh, we have Sludge. 
And uh, he's just loose. I don't know because of the way his leg folds or something. I don't, uh, but he's loosening his arms too. It was a bear to get his hands out because they go into his feet. Um, these are fairly loose up here. I kind of wish they latched in somewhere, but uh, he, got, he of course has his cannon. Now I do realize that he was released right like in the midst of the pandemic. So QC issues might be just a matter of the time, you know, that he was, you know, created and where he was created. But uh, yeah, I, otherwise these guys are all just spectacular. Uh, it's weird that it took so long to release them. Although I understand Hasbro's like wave system and what have you, they re release only like so many liters per uh, wave per se. But it literally took four years to get all five of these figures out. And um, it's a long time to complete a set. Uh, they have promised that future uh, sets won't take so long. But I think the future sets, since they're Voyager and smaller for the number of the combiners, that makes more sense that they wouldn't take so long because you have more in a wave that you can place. Yeah, these are the Dinobots from Transformers Studio Series, the movie 86. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.